Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dandy, and thanks for tuning in to Tips on Structuring Music in FL Studio. I've pre-made a song, you know, just used a whole bunch of elements from another video, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Right, so I have a whole bunch of elements, drums, instruments, and what have you, and we want to make a song out of it, alright? So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you right now. Now, the first steps is to be organized. I'm going to start off with uh, my instruments. I'm going to highlight them. Now, I'm just right-clicking these, these uh, bubbles here, right? These lights. Then I'm going to do the basic functions of Windows, Control-X, to take it out and, you know, just cut it. So I have it in my clipboard, ready to paste. We're going to paste that into a different pattern. So we have a pattern box up here. We, we can select up to 999 patterns. I don't know if uh, anyone has ever gone that high, uh, but I would like to see that, actually. Uh, I'm going to paste it here on 5. So now I'm left off with that. Just just these instruments, these BSTs, right? I'm going to go back to channel, uh, my pattern 1. And let's see here. We have a whole bunch of drums, okay? Let's separate it. Let's start by taking out my claps. Everything on 2s and 4s. Now I know this is my clap here. It doesn't show it's on a 2, but the uh count. And um, like 1, E, and a uh, 2, right? It's on the uh count, and you can see here in the region that there's a lot of empty space, and so that causes a delay, so we have to move it earlier in the time to make sure it lands on a 2 or a 4. All right? Now you can easily go ahead and fix that, right-click this, edit, highlight the dead space, delete it, but I was kind of lazy, and I was like, yeah, I'll just nudge it over a bit. So, highlight that, highlight this, highlight that. Those are all my 2s and 4s. Oh, and we can highlight that one. We have one over there. And same thing, cut it out. There we go. So no claps, no nothing on the twos or fours. And let's put it on. Let's put it on channel or pattern two. All right. And you know what? Let's actually separate these two. Let's put that in another one. Put it on three. All right. And we'll take. Yeah, we can keep that snare on there. That echoey snare. Let's go back to pattern one, listen to what we have. Let's take out our and counts. There we go. And we can we can leave it there. That sounds good. And let's put it into the next empty channel. Bang. Alright. So we have a whole bunch of drums on patterns one to four. On five, we have instruments. Let's go ahead and separate this now. Uh, let's just start off. Let's do this in order. Let's keep that first VST on five. Take those out. Go to six. Now there's a simple way of doing this. Let me show you. Actually, I'm gonna paste it back on. Um, if you don't want to choose, you know what's on the next pattern, you can also just highlight what you want to um, separate. Right-click the pattern selector here, and then go to split by channel. Bang! magically does everything for you. So on five, I got my first VST, and then second, and third, and fourth. All right, so that's just a little quick thing, a little shortcut for you guys that uh, don't know that feature just yet. All right, so we have all these patterns, but how do we put it together, all right? We're gonna do that by switching to song mode, clicking this button here, or pressing L, right? And it goes over here on the playlist. The playlist can be found right here this little button right there okay this is where we arrange cut fix make our song so let's do that pattern one I have a whole bunch of patterns here and uh, we're just gonna use them all all right so let's start off with let's see I remember on my five I have my chords let me zoom in more there we go let's continue making that out there now for dance music, the typical, the typical structure is 16 bars for you know the dancey part. Maybe another 16 bars for a verse and vocal. Uh, maybe a two, maybe an eight bar, eight bar pre-chorus and you know drop. And uh, yeah, but you know there are no rules. It's just easier for DJs you know to mix 
while they're you know at a, at the club or at a party so just keep that in mind 16 8 16 8 you know um so we'll start off with that chord let's go on to the next one sure let's see maybe not there and uh let's add the bass line on this one And okay, so let's add some drums now. Let's add let's add our first one here. Put it all across. This is a little gradual progression kind of uh, intro. Then we go into the, all the other drums. And let's take these and shift them down. I'm just holding shift and using the arrow keys to bring everything down. And let's see here. Now, a good thing to have is transitions, effects, and drops. Those are really good things to enhance your song and make it sound pro. Let's see, let's take that out. Let's take out the drums. Take out, you know what, let's just cut them all. And take that out. And let's see, let's put this here. And I'll take that in there. And you know, let's remove a bit of the bass line as well. There you go. Sounds like this. You can also have maybe maybe just have a little bit of chords happening. There we go. So we have a little drop, keeps things interesting, keeps things moving, you know, sounds sounds doesn't sound so repetitive, right? So that's a good thing there. And let's go on and finish the rest of our song and see what we can add in there, okay? So, now I want to continue my drums for another 16. Let's say for a nice vocal in there. Nice female vocal. I want the claps in there. You know what? No claps in the first part. Actually, no, and the second part. And we can do that. Let's see how that sounds. We'll add those chords in there. And we can add more effects, just add a little a little kick kick drop happening there. Right? And we can that snare adds some good effects, so we can leave that there. Let's continue putting maybe eight bars, so we're gonna lay this down twice. Uh, maybe a pre-chorus or a gradual pickup of some sort, right? And uh, let's add Continue the drums. Add a little drop in there. Add another big drop there. All right. Okay, so that's good. We have a we have an intro. Right? And it's 16, 16 bars intro. We have a four bar chorus. We have, uh, sorry, verse. And then we have an eight bar chorus or pre chorus, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the dancing part again in 16 bars. So we have half a song. All right. So that's good. Um, let's start by, let's see, putting some effects now. So I'm going to go into my, into my um, browser here. This is where I can find all my samples. I'm just going to look for some effects. I know I have my own folder of effects that I've created. And we're going to go to my Dandy Kit, wherever it is. Dandy's Drums, Dandy Kit number four. I have a swoosh. All right, we'll add that in there. Effects in the bottom to stay organized. And let's do that. We'll put it there. Let's stretch it out. Yeah, we'll stretch it out to there. And we we'll cut out the rest so it lands on the one. And let's see. Let's normalize it, make it louder. And let's reverse it 
add a little fade in in the beginning using this little button and now cool that sounds good now we're gonna need some sort of crash what can we use as a crash here do we have a crash here no crashes on here let's just go to my to the default FPC crashes which are really good right, just drag them on there drag them on down and let's do a few things to this so let's bring the FX to a channel in the mixer by pressing control L right now I'm on 14 and let's see here let's add a delay on that put the timing to 4-4 time offset a bit so it's a little bit of ear candy left and right and uh, no cut but we'll put the feedback to almost infinite and make the effects just a little lower alright so we'll do that so this is on 14 let's do the same thing to these put these on 14 there you go same thing here 14 and let's make them left and right so I'll make the bottom one right side actually and left one to the sorry the top one to the left and I should have some crazy cool effects it might be a little too loud let's drop it down very nice so my effects are a little too loud let's drop that as well let's make that a little cut on it so it doesn't you know the feedback is so long well just a tiny bit of cut so it does this Very nice, adds a little flavor. Now we're gonna add a splash. We'll add a splash to start the verse. Put that on 14 as well. And you know what, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put the feedback just a little bit lower. Go and do the. Let's see how it sounds like here in the verse. Nice. So it pretty much echoes till about half, half of the four bars, right? So two bars. So that's good. It sounds nice. And let's go ahead and put some more effects into here. So I have the 16 bars here for the chorus, and then we're gonna put that there. And put these back there. Cool. Nice. Sounds good. Sounds great. Now, the next thing we can do, whoops, don't want an explosion in there. The next thing we want to do is finish the song. So we have half, and we have a verse, pre chorus and then the dance part. So let's copy that. I'm going to highlight this. Control C to copy. Scroll down over. Paste it. Move it so it fits correctly. And now we have a full song, sort of. Now let's change things up so it doesn't sound repetitive. And of course we're going to cut this little small part so it's empty. Delete that part up there too. Add the collapse, just the collapse. Then we have this coming in. You know what? Let's add some splashes to here to our pre chorus. A little bit of a cut. Right, and we'll do the same thing here. Add a splash over here. Let's keep the 
laps there actually. Pick up that hi hat. There we go. And you know what? Just to make things a little interesting, so it's not so empty in our chorus, let's add some new drums. Let's go back to our packs. Let's go into. I feel like adding some sort of 808 snare. Let's go down to my 808 fatness. There we go. I like that. Let's throw that in. Just drop it in. Drag and drop. And let's see here. Let's add it into a new pattern. Let's go to the next. Find next empty 15. We're going to call this snares. Oh, sound rays. That's okay. And let's extend this so it lasts a little longer, right? Some more beats per bar. And then I'm going to do, let's see, let's do this. Four steps. Then we'll make it 16th counts there. And then we're going to make it crazy, crazy over there. And to make it even crazier over here, Let's send it to the piano roll. Zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And then, you know what, just to change it up so it doesn't, so it's unpredictable, we're gonna change these, oops, we're gonna change this little section here, this uh, to maybe some sort of triplets. So let's go into our snap and change it to a third of a step. Go here, let's stretch it out for three steps and then do that All right so let's see how that sounds from the beginning and then let's continue making all that there There we go. Good, so we have that and it needs a little more spice, so let's bring it to the mixer. Let's add a compressor to that. Change, you know, a little bit of a ratio, threshold, somewhere around here, and make the gain same as the ratio and keep everything else the same. A little bit more of a smack, or we can try something else. Let's turn that off for a second and use the sound goodizer and just leave it like that. Right, working at both. But that's a little too much. So we'll leave it like that. And it needs a little more of a thump. So let's add a kick in there. Yeah. Right, so that sounds good. Just uh little one two drum kit there and we're gonna paste that in our pre-chorus so there's a crazy buildup happening there we go and let's see let's continue the quarter counts there the four on the floor part of that transition and we'll paste it all over here so now this is what we get <laughs> Right, so we have a bit of a, you know, cool transitioning thing or uh, pattern there happening. And let's go ahead and create another one for this one. So it's always, always different. We're going to paste that in there right now. Let's hear that sounds. That sounds cool. And let's go ahead and add our original, you know, percussion in there. Let's add the collapse. Actually, not the collapse. Let's add the percussion in there. Right, 
So we have a bit of movement there. We didn't have to do too much work. Um, but let's go ahead and add in our other new transition here. And let's, let's just stick it in there. So in the beginning, we have our slow drum kit. We fast forward to the halfway point and we end up with this. And we can actually just take that small portion, cut that portion, and now we have this. Right, so it's all about mixing and matching and making sure that you know there's a lot of variation happening with your song. There's a whole bunch of elements that we need to keep in mind, right? Sound effects, transitions, you know, structure, drops, you know, movement in your structure, right? So the next thing that we can do, we can add in just whoops. We can add in just our VSTs, maybe last for another two bars. Let's just say this is the end of our song. We're going to make an outro. Right? We've got to stick to our AB structure. Right? If you're not familiar with that, you would, uh, you know, it's just basically A would be an intro. Sorry, there'd be an intro, then there'd be A as a verse, B as a chorus, C as a pre, as a post chorus or hook or something, you know, and then a D for um, the little dancey part. Right, and uh, repeats all over again. A, and then B, and then maybe C for that last part, and then D. Then we have the outro, right? So let's let's we should keep that in mind there. So here's our outro. Have a splash there at the end. Things organized, making sure everything's on the same track. And let's go ahead and use some automation. Right click my master volume, create automation clip, bang. Now let's create a little dot, little point, anchor point there. And let's copy this value, that last point, so that it stays the same here throughout the whole song. Then we're going to dip out and cut it short. And maybe add a little curve there at the end. So, and there you have it. So this is a little basic, basics in uh, you know structuring a song. You know things could be different for you know styles or genres, uh, kind of music that you make, right? In hip hop, you know a lot of rap verses are 16 bars, but that doesn't mean you have to, right? Um, dance music, 16 bar dancey section, um, you know. Typically for me, when I want to lay down my own vocals in my own song, I end up doing about 12 bars for a verse, and then an 8-bar pre-chorus, and then a 16-bar 16 16-bar uh, dancey section, right? You know, for that club joint kind of thing. Or sometimes I do, you know, the 12 bars, and then only four count, uh, four bars of a chorus or some sort of pre-chorus, so that it ends up being 16 in total just for those DJs, and then throwing it into uh, eight bars for, you know, a chorus or eight bars for a dancey part, you know, whatever the case may be. But um, I hope this helped in, you know, creating something new, uh, you know, adding new ideas to your music and whatnot. Um, I guess in the future I'll show you guys some mixing techniques here. Going out on the mixing board and making sure everything's sounds good and clear with no distortion and uh, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace!